Hello everyone. This is your land. Each plot for each four items. You will unlock by owning an according NFT. The additional plot is strongly recommend to open by renting 300 Y per week so you have enough resource to get maximum Y rewards and experience the Guana trade to sell your own products for extra income. Most of the area is decoration items. You can see and run around by the cave AST key or arrow key. Here are the places to grow apples. Each apple takes 12 hours, so one full day you can grow 4 apple trees. I will talk about how you submit apple and other items for daily quest. Here is the place to raise fishes. Sometimes you need to see a strange fish not raised by you. It will appear and you have to run on the plot of the lake to find one plot that the control screen changes into a hands icon. It is coin fish. It appears 30 minutes randomly a day. And if you are luckily on time, you can catch it by running on the lake plot and click to catch. Claim 25 wave in daily request area. Here is the place to grow cows. You should open two plots and raise two cows at the same time because it takes a whole day 24 hours to harvest. One cow you will submit to the daily quest for sure and one cow you will process in the factory to get the elements for additional products in daily quest. You will be confused between one tray and one shop. Please don't. Check the shortcut number 3 and number 2 on your keyboard. The Warner Shop is always a safe way to buy seed, but it is very high. 2 US dollar for 2 cabbage seeds, where you can buy with 25 wild for 1 cabbage seed in Warner Tray. Around 10 times cheaper at the current wild price. You can also find the number 1 for your inventory. It will contain your seed, harvest item, ingredients, elements, and everything. Number 4 is to find the chest box. If you buy the seed through seed box, you will open it to get seeds here. Same way for the next event chest that you may acquire through joining Wanaka events in the game later, like the Halloween event. You can check the Halloween event symbol from the Wanaka office homepage. And so on. Number 5 and 6 is for the factory, where you can split the harvest items into elements and ingredients, or merge ingredients into other products, as I told you that you need to complete the daily quest. You can also get more small wild by water or feed your items. This quest gives you 10 wild. Now, I will open the quest part so you can see how it's accomplished by daily basis or weekly basis. You can always use your mouse normally on computer by pressing the on to let key. At that time, your mouse will appear. Wanaka has three kinds of quest: daily, quickly, and main quest. I'm sure the main quest will be super super interesting. But right now, we can only do the daily and weekly quest. For the daily quest, it can give you like 4 times of 150 Y according to 4 types of products that you grow. So your income for daily quest is 600. And you can earn another 35 Y if you do the farm work and be lucky enough to catch a coin fish. Besides the main harvest item, you will need to submit together 4 things extracting from the harvesting items. Slide, fertilizer, fodder, and earthworm. Please remember this chart or take a note alongside with you. To achieve slide, fertilizer, fodder, and earthworm, you have to do two steps in the factory, splitting and merging. Each step costs you 2 energy and 5 Y. Remember, you have 480 energies free a day, but the recovery mechanism can give you like 720 energy each hour you will recover 30 energy, so use it wisely. Energy is kind of a most waste resource that the default landowners can never imagine. I will talk about it in another video. Weekly quests. You can do all a quest totally in two kinds of activity. Harvesting items from growing or submitting the products processed by the factory. Every week, Monday at 2 UTC, you will reset another two in a quest randomly. 
The reward is huge from 1200 wine or 3600 wine. However, you cannot accomplish this kind of quest because you don't have enough land and time in one week to cross that quantity. Even you open all to prosper item, it is for current situation for now. But if you are given this kind of quest, the rewards is triple, 3600 wild. This is quite tricky, and you think that you can never achieve it? No, I will prove that. And even if you don't have it then, you still can do it. For example, the element you buy in the first page will be 30, 31 wild for the retail price. Then the amount of Y you have to pay for buying will be 2400 Y for 80 elements. But if you keep looking in the following pages, you will find element which will be sold at a wholesale price for about 2300 Y. So you can see the price has already 100 Y cheaper than the retail price. And everyone, please open an account as soon as possible before the purchase of NFT has to be done on the market. If the amount of NFT in the market is not provided enough, the price will be high and largely depends on the landlord. The deadline is December 19, so please open the account before that date. Another thing to take note is that there are bad guys who's selling a element but make the price at the same as selling 80. Please see the quantity clearly and prepare a physical calculator for your purchase. I have successfully bought all the neat elements to complete the weekly test. Remember to buy the element, don't buy the finished craft product because it will include the cost of production in terms of 5Y and 2 energy. You have plenty of free energy, isn't it? Don't run out of while at this stage. You have to use another 400 Y just for crafting. Here let me show you the demo of the matching in the factory. You just need to be patient. As you can see, I'm crafting manually one by one product. Each one will cost me 5 Y. So you will spend another 400 Y to produce the items to accomplish the weekly quest. It is 80 times of 5 Y per each crafting. So please do your own calculation. As long as the ingredients you buy are cheap enough to give you profit, one of the several times of purchasing, be note that also counts your Wana market fee, 0.01 Wana per purchase. The market fee is approximately 0.01 Wana is equal to 01 wine. I will make an example. I bought 80 gamma at the price 30 wine per bottle. I paid 2400 wine for the ingredients and I will pay another 400 wine at the factory for crafting. So totally, I paid like 2800 wine to get enough quest items. Now when I submit it, the game will give me 3600 wine. So my profit for this is 400 wine without spending any time for growing, caring or harvesting. Good enough? And as you already can imagine, with the tons of free energy you have, you can do this process again to sell the factory product to those who have run out of energy but want to complete the weekly quest, especially at the last minute of the weekly quest reset time UTC 000 Monday every week. The only thing I want to recommend is to check all the mechanism well and explore the market deeply. You don't have the land to do much, but the market wandry is waiting for you to burn the energy you have to supply more selling items. Even the breeding seed if you are really into the game. Experience Wanaka yourself and make your own way of farming. Have fun and share with us your moments with the game. Thanks for watching and please subscribe to our channel for our next videos below. Cheers!